Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Deterrence is the capability of a state to inflict sufficient heavy losses on a potential adversary to deter it from attempting an attack. It is a key element of national defense for guaranteeing the protection of one territory. What differentiates a cruise missile from other weapon is their range enabling them to reach deep in the territory of the adversaries. Few years back, DRDO has started working on submarine launch cruise missile SLCM. The new SLCM will be launched from the torpedo tubes used in existing Calvary class submarines and possibly in upcoming submarines under Project 75I. These SLCMs are going to be of two variants. One will be ship attack SLCM and another one will be land attack SLCM. The anti-ship SLCM will be equipped with AESA RF seeker for terminal guidance and land attack version will make use of electro-optical seeker with DSMSE or digital scene matching area correlator technology for terminal guidance. The electro-optical seeker makes more sense for land attack version as the land targets could be highly mobile which can be tracked using EO sensors and DSMSE. Now if you talk about its range. There is no official confirmation on it from DRDO. However, the SLCM will be fired from torpedo tubes used in existing Calvary class submarines which is a 533mm torpedo tube. These torpedo tubes can fire both torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. At present, these torpedo tubes can fire German-made surface and underwater target SU-2 torpedoes and SM-39 Exocet anti-ship missiles. The futuristic submarine launched cruise missile will also be fired from this. The Calvary class submarine, as we all know, is based on French design Scotland class. These submarines are designed to carry MBDS MDCN naval cruise missile, which means the Calvary class submarine is also capable of firing these missiles. Further, the new SLCM by DRDO is expected to be a derivative of ITCM or NIRVAI inheriting technologies of RF seeker and propulsion. If you closely observe, the ITCM has a length and dimensions similar to MDCM missile. We can expect SLCM having a range similar to MBDS MDCN that is more than 250 km. We got to know about the progress in the SLCM development from one of the RFP of DRDO's lab ARD which has released a tender this month for fabrication and supply of safety arming mechanism for SLCM which is going to have two subsystems namely electronic control unit and arming and detonation mechanism. The main function of safety arming mechanism is to incorporate various safeties and to detonate the warhead when required. The safety army mechanism is a vital link between missile and warhead which plays a vital role in keeping missile in safe condition during handling, transportation, storage and launch phases. These safety interlocks incorporated in SAM are removed at different stages of flight of the missile and detonates the warhead at the time of the interception of target. Looking at the progress being made by DRDO for SLCM and its experience with ITCM, we can expect the missile to be ready for trials pretty soon, that is, in an year's timeline. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.